For a very long time, Instapaper and Pocket were the two most popular Read It Later apps on iOS. But now there's a new wave of Read It Later apps that are coming in and joining the party and trying to change the way how Read It Later's apps work on iOS. So in this video, I want to share with you other alternatives of amazing Read It Later apps that are coming in that might surprise you and you might want to go and check out as well. So stay tuned for the whole video to find out all the new Read It Later apps. So coming in number one we have is Matter. So Matter is a new Read It Later app that's trying to change the game of this area of the Read It Later sector. So one of my favorite features about Matter is the social curation feature. So the social curation feature inside of Matter is where you get to follow other writers that you maybe already know, maybe from platforms from Twitter, or you might have followed for a very long time, or you might even find new writers. So you could find them and they'll upload all their latest blog posts or all their latest thoughts right on Matter right there. So it's a really great place, not only just to follow your favorite writers, but also find new ones as well that you might not have heard of and you might enjoy their work as well. Next is it the Twitter threads feature inside of Matter. So reading Twitter threads, of course, on, uh, on Twitter, it's pretty basic and it's okay. Twitter does a decent job. But Matter takes a step forward and you can actually import all your Twitter threads that you uh, want to read on a nicer platform like Matter as well. And it looks just a little bit much more better on Matter than it did on Twitter. And you can read it at your own pace and it just looks really nice like an article and not like several tweets uh, on Twitter. So it's just a really, really great place to import a lot of Twitter threads that you're reading and read it in, at your own time on Matter as well. But one new surprise inside of Matter that might surprise you is that it supports newsletters. So newsletters, of course, are a very popular way right now. Um, and there's a lot of people starting newsletters. So you probably subscribe to a ton of newsletters and you just can't keep up with all of them. So what Matter does is you can actually import all those newsletters that you subscribe to into Matter. So that makes it nice and easy to keep it all organized in one single app instead of maybe receiving them by email or by just going to every single website to find every uh, article. It will just bring it all over to the Matter app and you could just read every single newsletter nice and organized without you having to have to worry about if you're missing one or if you um, if it's all not organized in your email, it's nice and organized instead inside of the Matter application. So Reading Q is number two in this list and Reading Q is considered the Marie Kondo of Read It Later apps according to developers. So Reading Q is a super dead simple Read It Later application that you can go and download for free in the iOS app store. And what I like about uh, Reading Q is that it doesn't, it doesn't allow you to see all your articles that you have saved. It only shows you uh, in one whole page on the phone, the articles. So you don't have the option to scroll down like a lot of the other third party re read it later apps that allows you to scroll down and choose which article you want to read. It will, with read it later, it shows you the first article that you saved and then it makes you read the whole thing. And then once you read it, you can swipe uh, to the from right to left so that you could find your next article that you saved. Um, so you don't have the option to scroll down and choose which article. It just shows you the articles that you saved by order. And then you have to swipe every single time to find your next article. So it's a great way, of course, to actually make you read your, your saved articles since maybe sometimes uh, a lot of people don't uh, read their saved articles in their read it later apps. They just have them saved there. I have been uh, I have been one of those users. But reading Q, of course, is trying to change that where you actually read your reading where you actually read your articles that you saved. So it's just a really really nice awesome app and it's simplicity taken to the next level as well of how that simple this app is where you just mostly all you have to do is just read articles and swipe to the next article that you have saved to finish your whole article that you have saved in this read it later app. So Abyss is the third read it later app in this list. And what I really enjoy about Abyss is that it supports the latest design that you find mostly in the Apple Reminders application or even in the Apple Notes app as well. So it takes, of course, it, 
the design from uh, which of course Apple is supporting a lot more to those apps. Um, so if you're a fan of those design, then you're going to really enjoy the design of Abyss as well. And one of my favorite things about this is that it makes it really nice and organized as well. When you saved a lot of your read it later articles into Abyss, you can have it nice and organized and saved and you know where every article is found because uh, you categorized it with using the Abyss design as well. And another neat feature that a lot of people are really going to really love about this app is that it saves uh, to your iCloud, so only you can you so only you own your own privacy. So it doesn't take it doesn't capture any data or cells or anything like that. Because since everything is saved into iCloud, you're the only one that can access your own privacy on Abyss as well. Another way that Abyss really takes Read It Later apps to next level is the uh, tagging system. So the tagging system, of course, allows you to tag a Read It Later uh, a Read It Later article, and then it allows you to tag it so that you can quickly access it at a later time and find it really quickly without any problems. So it is a fantastic, fantastic way, of course, just to keep everything organized and quickly to access your article in Abyss as well. And not least but not last, we have probably one of my favorite new Read It Later apps that have joined the party um, in the Read It Later sector, and that is Pile. So Pile is a Read It Later uh, app that might surprise you when you see it, because it, it certainly surprised me, and the design as well will take you aback as well. It is probably one of the most unique Read It Later apps that you'll find on the App Store right now. So one of the first things, of course, is the app is not free. The app is a one-time purchase, so that means that actually you could buy it once and you can use it on your iPhone, on your iPad, or even on your Mac as well, since it has an app as well for the Mac too. So one of my favorite features, of course, about Pile, what makes it stand out from all the other Read It Later apps is the photography and the artwork that you get to see. So that's one of the big things about Pile that really, really stands out to me when I checked it out and was playing around with it as well. So Pile, of course, uses big pictures and uh, to really get your attention to really click on your Read It Later articles that you have saved so that you actually read it. And it uses really nice artwork and photography for you as well, since that's the main way to capture a lot of people to click on, a, to click on an article and actually read the article that you saved. So it's probably going to be one of my favorite 2022 apps of this year pile. And if you're looking for a really new exciting read it later app, then pile might be the one for you to go and check out. So that's pretty much it for the top new read it later apps that have joined the party in our giving competition to Instapaper and Pocket. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you made it all the way here, thank you so much for watching this video. It will be really awesome if you give this video a thumbs up. And other than that, I'll see you guys later and thank you so much for watching.